Hey guys, uh, just a quick note before this video starts here. I've had this footage laying around on my computer for some time. I recorded it originally to to do a full series of, uh, of tutorials for Planetside 2. Uh, however, I never got around to doing that, but this is still useful information, I think. Um, there's been a lot of much better complete tutorials now, uh, although I don't think any one of them includes the material that is in these videos. So I'm just putting it out there now. Uh, feel free to use it for your clan page or outfit page or wiki or whatever. Um, one of the videos is regarding uh, or shows you a demo of all the different scopes that you can use so that you can actually see what it looks like prior to spending points on it. The other is about the, all the explosives for the same reason, prior to spending points on it. So that's the reason why I'm putting these videos out there now. Planetside 2 is just about to release. So, this should be of some use to some of you. Alright, over to the actual video. Hello guys, this is Zar, and this is the guide videos for Planetside 2. And in this part, we're going to go through something that might be useful for later, namely explosives. All the explosives, at least all the explosives that is available to me now during beta. And the reason we're doing this video is because, one, um, you don't want to spend points on all of these in order to find out what they are and what they do. And the second reason is I can do it now. And so I thought this would be a useful video for the future because who knows when or if at all someone will be able to do this, um, you know, until after the game has been released for a long time. So this is filmed during beta, there might be changes to it when you watch it. Uh, but other than that, uh, here we go. Let's have a look at all the explosives that you can use in Planetside 2. Uh, so for this test, guys, we need to have a helper. And here are not so much a helper as a victim. And here's a <laughs> victim, Michael. Hello. He's been my, uh, what should we say, uh, teacher so far in the videos, commenting on everything I do wrong <laughs> and helping me to learn the game. <laughs> So that's nice. Anyways, um, it is uh, in the game there are three, or actually one faction specific explosive for each faction, right? Um, this is the proximity mine. Hold on. Pro I always forget what they're called. No, they're actually, stand no, back. It, no it's not the proximity, it's a claymore. Yeah, claymore. So I'm going to place that here. You stay away. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, it's placed. Now it has some sort of green laser beams on it, so I'm presuming you just run near it somewhere and see what happens. Uh, yep. There you uh, go. How much damage did it take? Uh, well, I had my shields up. Alright. I had, I had my heavy, heavy assault shields up, so I didn't die. If I had I that, if I, didn't, if I didn't have them, I probably would have died. I have one more. Alright. Yep, close, it nice. kills me. Okay, cool. So we've tested the. Uh, the Claymore. Let's do the other factions. So, the next one is uh, for the NC, the faction specific one is called Bouncing Betty, and we're going to test it now if our victim moves away. Yeah. Let's see, placed, and let's see what happens. Will I activate my shield, sir, or will I just go in? Uh, you just go in. Okay. Yeah, that got me. <laughs> Did it jump up at all? Didn't see it. Well, me neither. It didn't look like it jumped up. Okay, let's test the next one. Alright, daytime. This is the Vanu uh, special one. It's called the Proximity Mine, and I'm presuming it does pretty much exactly the same as the other two. There it is. Purple and nice. Let's Just run in. Yep. Yeah, pretty much exactly the same. Right then, let's test the other types of explosive that is non faction specific. And just a note to the viewers. Um, these faction specific ones, they can be used by infiltrators and by engineers. Those are the only two that has access to the faction specific ones, at least at this time. Who knows what happens later. So, uh, next thing we're going to try now is for the engineer, they have something called sticky grenades, and they're going to throw one on this tank here, and let's see what happens. Oh, try to drive. Oh, how much damage did it take from that? None. None at all. Nope. all right. Come out of the tank and see if uh, if I can stick it on you. Close stand here so it doesn't kill you. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's see. 
did it stick? No, it didn't. Didn't okay. kill me. So, so it don't. But did it stick on you? No, it, it no I was. I it didn't. It missed me, but I was right next to it. I didn't take any damage. All right. Well. Probably. Okay, so, it, so it sticks to vehicles, basically. Then. All right. Doesn't do a lot of damage. Yeah. And then we also have the. Uh, let's see. Tank mine is the one we're going to do. Let's see. I'm going to place it about here. Just Can you see where I'm putting it? Uh, yeah. Just place one, just in case. Do you want to blow this thing up? All right. So there it is. Yeah, oh, I'll wait till you start. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, so you just drive like straight towards me and we'll see what happens. Okay. You recording? Yeah. Oh. That actually, that actually done about half damage. Half damage? Well, that's pretty good. We put down a few of those and they're expensive though. Alright, let's test something else. The next one we're going to test is C4 which is a remote detonated one. Um, there are three types basically of explosives in this game. There are grenades and then there are the remote detonated ones and there is mines. I think... Can I place it on here? Yep, I placed it on your vehicle now. Uh, let's see how much damage you take. Well, that's quite a lot. Uh, about, uh, just under a half. It's about the same as anti-tank mines. Just, right. a, just a wee bit more. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, let me try to place one on the ground and uh, and explode it with you under it. Just it should do pretty much equal damage to vehicles and. Uh, it will pretty much. I think it will kill me. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't need you anymore. Is that you? Yeah. I thought it was one. Safe. Just blew up my tank. <laughs> All right. Anyways. Here we are. Do you have yeah, shields on or anything? It's quite a, quite a big boom. So I'd stand back. Yeah. Right. Do you have shields on? Yeah, I do. Right, oh no, sorry. Okay, okay, go. Three, two, one, bang. <laughs> okay, so that with shields. Oh no, you're engineer. All right then. Cool. We tried C4. All right. Now we're going to test some grenades. The first one out is flash grenade. You can get that with the uh, light assault class. I'm going to go pretty close so I can see if I flash myself as well. This should be like a concussive kind of thing. So three, two, one, and. Oh. oh, yeah, that works. Okay. Did you get completely blinded? Yep, did you? Nope. Uh, it got brighter, but I didn't get completely blinded. But that's good to know. Uh, it was because it's probably a night thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Anywho, uh, let's try the other one. Alright, I'm recording. You should test now the anti vehicle grenade, was it? Yeah? Yep. Alright, let's go. Let's see how much damage I take. Oh, we're getting shot. How much was that? That was, grenade. that was actually nothing. Did you hit? Oh, that was a concussion grenade. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, so if you get out and then we'll throw the concussion grenade. Do you have another concussion grenade? Uh, yeah, I got two yeah. more. Throw it at me. Let's see how it goes. Oh, okay, that's an interesting effect. And right. It lasts for a while okay. and it makes just me slow. Just one more. Yeah. See how slow I'm moving. Yeah. You look, you look like you're moonwalking. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let me throw a... I'm gonna throw a smoke grenade at you. Alright, okay. Oh, oh, Freak it out. <laughs> that went far. Oh well. Oh, uh, that's cool. It's pretty cool. That's pretty much like the... You know, you have some, some of the tanks can do that too. As a defensive yeah. measure. Okay, well I'll go, I'll go back and grab anti-vehicle grenades now. Cool. Okay, so we're going to test the uh, anti-vehicle grenade, was it this time, right? Yes. Alright, uh, fire when ready. You know, I don't know if I'm, yeah, it should be fine. Ah, uh, slightly bounced over. Uh, this is going to be a problem. Ready, stay there, stay there. Yeah, uh, it took about like one tenth of my health, ten percent. Yeah, it wasn't quite on it. Oh, that's a good one, stay there, I think. Oh yeah, that took more, more or less half. Uh, okay, cool. Let me know. Uh, the last thing we can actually record that we have access to in the beta is uh, the flash grenade once again. We wanted to try the decoy one, but for some reason it's defaulted to all of us, which bugs it out so we can't use it. Um, so we're going to try the flash grenade once again, and this time in my perspective you can see how it is to be flashed, so go for it. Okay. Oh, that's too... that's well wide. <laughs> okay, keep moving, keep moving. Better stop. Okay. 
<laughs> this is one thing with any grenade though, they're kind of bouncy. Is that okay. a thing? Yeah. Yeah, you're not completely blinded with it. I think it works better at night, because usually, yeah. usually when I use it inside rooms, yeah, in, in it's usually rooms, yeah. Yeah, so right, I end up bleeding to... myself. What? Because usually when I do it in rooms, I end up bleeding myself, even though I'm miles away from it. <laughs> right. Cool. Well, um, that was what we can do this time, so thanks a lot for helping. You're welcome. Alright guys, that was it. That was all the grenades that we had access to this time, or all the explosives. Uh, so far that was pretty much all of them. There is a few exceptions, a few that we didn't have the opportunity to test this time unfortunately, but that is just because they are locked so far in the beta. Um, in, uh, in future videos we'll cover those as well. Uh, the ones we didn't have a chance to test this time was the EMP grenade and the IFF grenade and decoy grenade from the um, infiltrator class. Uh, EMP is EMP, it should be pretty self-explanatory. IFF is basically scouting grenades, so to say. They will discover hidden units and other units in the area where it lands. Decoy, not actually sure what they do. I haven't seen the description of them, so that's a mystery. We all got those um, handed to us, basically, the certification for it. And what happens when, that, when you are certified something and log out in the beta, then you can't use it anymore, so that's why we haven't had a chance to do those. Um, other than that, the combat medic has something called a nanite heal and a nanite revive grenade. And those two do pretty much exactly what they say they do as well. So those are the ones that wasn't didn't make it into this video. By the time uh, you watch this, if this is, like, remember this is recorded in beta, it might have changed, there might be more grenades and more explosives. But this should be of some use to you, at least I hope they were. Um, this way you don't have to spend points in order to find out what exactly these do. So I have a little, little useful video, a rare, a rare video from my channel, which is usually longer, more unedited types of videos. Anyways, there are more videos in this series of informative ones from Planet Side 2. Stick around, watch some of them, maybe leave a like and a subscribe and a comment. And I'll see you around for the next one. For now though, this has been Sar. Have a nice one. Bye bye.